18 months of a visa-free regime. During this time, 2 million Ukrainians took advantage of it. Amber Rush. How and where is the solar stone smuggled from Ukraine? Africans in Winter Carpathians. How border guards rescued illegals? Two million Ukrainians have already benefited from the visa-free regime with the EU, Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko recently posted on his Facebook page. Now our country has a visa-free regime with more than 100 countries. To walk around the streets of Paris, Prague or Milan, to study a foreign language in Berlin or to learn business in Vienna. You're welcome. Now it's much easier. First of all, we should understand that a visa-free regime is an opportunity for Ukrainians to enjoy one of the fundamental freedoms in the EU. It's the freedom of movement. Ukrainian border guards know what crossing points are the most popular among Ukrainians, because they inspect travelers' documents. As it turned out, the most intensive visa-free movement is on the border with Poland and at airports. Almost 700,000 trips were recorded here. Then there are the Hungarian sections, 248,000, the Romanian, 236,000, and the Slovak, 142,000. And no tourists are dissatisfied. It's more convenient. We don't need a visa and we don't need to wait. We just travel. We had rest. A biometric passport is convenient. Traveling to other countries has become more convenient because 157 border checkpoints are connected to the Interpol database and equipped with means of biometric control. Modern equipment allows to automatically check all types of documents, so you're welcome and it is worth it. Christmas and New Year holidays have finally ended, and not only for average citizens. After a lull in festivities, activity on the contraband front revived. Here is the first sign. This car arrived at the checkpoint Tisa in Transcarpathia after the holidays. A resident of the Ternopil Oblast went to Hungary on business. When the border guards doubted the good intentions of the driver, they decided to inspect his car. The driver was very upset. Everything became clear when Green Berets, jointly with fiscal officers, discovered 25 kilograms of amber in the gas tank. These stones are quite large and expensive. Now the Ukrainian suspect has to explain to investigators not only his actions, but the origin of the contraband. Next day, the situation was repeated at the crossing point Ravaruska on the border with Poland. Lviv border guards, together with customs officers, had to fully disassemble a minibus. It was not easy, but it was well worth it. The car of a resident of the Rivni Oblast was loaded with sandstones. Folk craftsmen worked the stones well. The result of their work was more than 10 kilograms of both polished and unworked amber. The receiving point is currently being investigated. However, there are several options. According to the Li Amber Consortium, there are about 1,000 amber refining companies in Europe. The Polish port of Gdansk is considered the largest hub through which Ukrainian amber is mainly smuggled. As the Li Amber Consortium reported, Europe is gradually losing ground. China is taking first place. Today it accounts for 80% of global amber production, where the most lucrative deals are made. So it came as no surprise that 7 tons of Ukrainian amber was up for sale on the trade market in Shenzhen last April, though there are doubts as to its legal origin. In total, over the past year, Ukrainian border guards seized nearly 400 kilos of smuggled amber, not only raw materials but also finished products. For example, last month they prevented the export of almost 700 amber adornments weighing over 5 kilos from the Chernomorsk port to Turkey. Obviously, it's still a very popular product abroad. How long will it last? In closing, this is bad news for smugglers and black scammers who barbarically destroyed the nature of the Ukrainian territory of Polisia.
According to experts, world amber prices are rapidly in decline, supply far exceeds demand, and these empty halls are confirmation. If in 2014 specialized exchanges paid around 2,000 euros for one kilogram of Ukrainian raw material, today this sum is four times less. It is hoped that the criminal business will finally go bankrupt and the amber rush will come to an end. Watch next, Africans in Winter Carpathians. How border guards rescued illegals. Without excise tax and owners, a vehicle transporting contraband cigarettes found near the border. Last year, there was an unusual incident in the Netherlands. The local police precinct received a phone call from an illegal migrant. He was begging to release him and his fellows from captivity in ICE. Foreigners were frozen in the freezer in which they illegally tried to enter the UK. The offenders were rescued from frozen death. Nobody phoned the Ukrainian border guards. Law enforcers were in the right place at the right time. Detainment of the illegal migrants was a standard rescue operation conducted in Transcarpathia, near the border with Slovakia. Here, Egyptians and Moroccans made their way through meters of snow drifts to reach their ultimate dream, the EU. Accustomed to heat, the African inhabitants were completely unprepared for the brutal conditions of Ukrainian winter. Traffickers of illegals promised that everything would be fine, but fearing bad weather or meeting with border guards, they simply left their customers snowbound and freezing in a winter forest. The offenders did not even resist law enforcers because they were completely exhausted. Military doctors had to rescue them. Fortunately, there were no casualties, but the Ukrainian Green Berets also remember cases when winter Carpathian trips resulted in the death of foreigners. Several years ago, there was a fatal incident of a Bangladesh citizen. He died of hypothermia in the mountains. Those who transported the stranded soul did not even dress him warmly. Totally over the past year, border guards detained more than 3,000 illegal migrants. Moreover, they came to Ukraine as a rule legally for work, for studies or for tourism. However, after a while, they ended up on the western border with EU countries. Therefore, Ukraine still has the status of a transit country. Middle East, Asia and Africa remain the main suppliers of illegals. Ukraine and Romania. The border between them runs along the picturesque Carpathians. Landscapes are so breathtaking that a tourist group, not seeing any signs, wandered to the neighboring country. Since then, Mukachevo border guards have issued special permits to tourists, and that's exclusively done when the latter use a GPS navigator or the help of local tour guides. But this vehicle navigation system led one driver to the village of Dilove in the Rahiv county. Border operatives understood that the vehicle was not accidental, because one bank of the Tisa River is on Romanian territory several dozen meters from the Ukrainian side. Having noticed the presence of law enforcers, the driver and his passengers fled for their lives toward the nearest households. They knew that border guards have no right to enter private homes. In 2012, responsibility for smuggling goods was decriminalized, which does not allow us to prosecute persons on privately owned land plots. But the Green Berets are obligated to inspect abandoned vehicles. Inside them, law enforcers found 5,000 packs of non-existent cigarettes, the smugglers were hoping to quickly transship the packages wrapped in black polyethylene across the river. The attempt failed. The cigarettes and vehicle were confiscated by the state law enforcement authorities. Watching the next program. Guide failed. Seven Turks and a Ukrainian guide were detained on an illegal route to Hungary. Package of marijuana is all the reason for a border dog to sniff out a suspicious suitcase.